It changes the context of your entire life and you move into a state of bliss. And that state of bliss is, thank goodness I had all these experiences because this is exactly what my soul journey was. Yeah. And I don't need to willpower shit to happen in my life anymore because I can just trust. And decide. That's right. Yeah. So it changes your entire existence and it changed my entire existence. And where did I learn that? I learned it in Egypt. Because Egypt is all about awakening us through that, that top in inception, the totem. The Great Pyramid is a totem to awaken us that we are in a matrix of our own creation. And it up-levels our consciousness. The more time you spend in there, the more you will perceive more pattern. The more pattern you perceive, the more you move from I know what I know to I know what I don't know to starting to understand and comprehend even the aspects of I don't even know what I don't know. So that's when you start to realize that the entire universe is patterned. It's just closed off because we are dimensionally limited. And it's not us that's actually, it's not that the universe is closed off, it's that we have closed ourselves off. And the only thing we have to do to break out of that is to change our belief systems. That's right. The cage of our beliefs is the thing that holds us back. It's not anyone else or anything else. You know, we all want to make excuses sometimes, right? I've done it myself. It's like, so so-and-so did this to me. The only thing you do when you start saying, I was victimized or somebody screwed me or, you know, this happened to me is you are disempowering yourself more and more. Mm -hmm. And a principle of this universe is sympathetic resonance. If you want to manifest something, then become the resonance of the thing that you'd like to manifest. If you want to change the world around you into a world of love, compassion, and joy, then become the love, compassion, and joy. Whatever is the resonance that we are vibrating toward will be what we attract. We can't break that rule. Sympathetic resonance will make it so we will attract whatever it is that we are already feeling. Our brains are not hard drive storage units. They are radio receivers. And we have a higher self that is the conceiver. And our brain is the receiver, right? And we, as our conscious mind, are the perceivers. From conceiver to receiver to perceiver. And this is how we live our lives. What happens to us is not actually what happens to us, it's what we believe happens to us. Yeah. And as soon as we start to realize this, not only does the future change for you, your history changes too. Because your view on what happened in the past dramatically shifts. And this is wisdom. So if you want to live a happy, fulfilling life that is in alignment with your dharma, where you're swimming along with the river, not against it or kicking against the pricks, start to look differently at the world that you live in. And the other thing is, is to start to really merge the two aspects of our perception, the eye of Horus, which is the left eye of Horus of intuition and creativity and darkness, the moon, the feminine, merge it with the eye of Ra, which is the eye of the sun. And that's our ability to be able to perceive rational thought, do things that make sense cognitively. The two things come together, and when we bring them together, then the heart thinks, and the mind feels, and the river of wisdom flows. I love that. That's the stage I think we're in right now. 